mechanical engineering students, the revolve command is a very powerful command in all CAD software. It is a very useful command, especially when you have at least one axis of symmetry, because you can create a three-dimensional part very, very quickly. And here on the screen, we see several examples, a cone, a cylinder, and a sphere. And within a few minutes, we can quickly create these three shapes using simple 2D sketches and the revolve command. So let's just review briefly the workflow. So the idea is to get in, into Inventor and create a 2D closed sketch. We also need to identify the axis of revolution. That's essentially the axis of symmetry. And some parts, like a sphere, for example, have more than one axis of symmetry. And then the last step is to use the revolve command to make the 3D part representation. OK, so Inventor is opened. And let us go ahead and create a new part. Standard part, hit create. Okay, and then the first step is to create the, the sketch. So we want to go up to Start 2D Sketch. And once again, we have our three orthogonal planes. And we can, for this exercise, we can pick any plane we want. Let's go ahead and pick the XY plane. And the first part we'll create will be the cone. So to do that, we have to draw a right triangle. So let's start with drawing some lines. And for this exercise, we're not terribly interested or worried about the overall dimensions. So you can use whatever size cone you want. I happen to be working in the um, US customary system of units, so we're in inches right now. So let's go ahead and make this maybe a one inch vertical line. Let's give this a dimension. And again, you can use any dimensions that you want. And for the base of the cone, let's go with half an inch. And then what we want to do is connect the lines as shown. So <clears throat> our axis of revolution will be this vertical one inch line here. And notice that since all three lines are connected, we do indeed have a closed sketch. So to create the cone, we want to come up to 3D model up here on the top left, click on this tab. And the revolve command is here. And notice also, anytime an inventor, and this is quite handy, if you leave your mouse cursor on the command or button for just a few seconds, it brings up a little window with a helpful description of the command. And also, if you were to strike the F1 key right now, brings you to the associated help files. All right, so click on the revolve command. And notice, in this case, the pro profile has sort of been pre-selected by the software. In this case, it was probably very easy for the software to identify the profile as there's only one of them. And we need to select the axis of revolution, and that's gonna be this vertical line here. And you can see that Inventor does indeed give you a profile of the part. And if you're happy with that, simply click OK. So there you go, here is your cone. You can see the cone in all of its glory. Again, a very straightforward procedure to create a relatively interesting and complex part. So let's try drawing the cone. I'm sorry, let's try drawing the cylinder in our next example. OK, so we're back in Inventor once again. And we want to draw a cylinder. So again, we go to 2D part sketch, x, y plane. So to draw the cylinder, what we will have to do is create a rectangle. And you can create a rectangle several ways. You can, of course, draw four lines. But since a rectangle is such a common shape, we can go ahead and use the rectangle command. So let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. And let's give the rectangle, we want it to be a uh, maybe a two inch tall cylinder. 
So that's going to be this dimension. And then our axis of rotation will be this line here. And once again, we have a closed sketch. And just to be thorough, we can give a dimension here. Maybe let's make this half an inch. Okay, so again, the goal is to draw a cylinder using the revolve command. So if we're happy with this sketch, so again, this section, this rectangular section, we're going to revolve it about this axis here that's sort of highlighted in red on your screen. So you might argue that this half inch dimension vertically is essentially the radius of the cylinder. So come up to 3D model, come up to revolve, and just like we saw with the cone, there's only the one profile which happens to be highlighted in a blue or green color. Uh, other thing to make sure is when you want to create a solid part, make sure the solid mode is active. You can also create uh, surfaces or shell features with this. If you click on it, you see get, get a hollow looking box. But for right now, we want a solid piece. And then our axis of revolution will be this line down here. And we can see what happened in our preview screen. And this looks correct. It's a two inch long or tall cylinder with a half inch radius. And we can move the, the cylinder around just to look at it more closely. And there you go. There's your little cylinder or maybe a very stubby shaft in this example. So the final one example will be how to create a sphere using the Inventor software. Okay, so we wish to create a solid sphere in this example exercise. So to do that, again, create 2D sketch, select a plane, and to draw the sphere in this case, we're going to want to draw a half circle. And there's a couple of different ways you can draw a half circle. One way would simply to be select the circle a command at the top here. And let's draw a circle. Let's give it a maybe a diameter of one inch. Okay, so there's our circle. And then we're going to need another line to act to help close the sketch and also give us, give us an axis of revolution. So I'm going to go ahead and select the line command up here. And I want to draw a line. Notice that when I kind of move my mouse cursor over the center of a circle, you see this green line come up, green circle come up, which means I'm snapped to the middle of the circle. And if I move my mouse straight up, you see this dashed line form, which means I'm still not on the center, but I'm aligned to it. So I'm going to draw a line that is vertical, but also runs through the center of the circle. So this is going to be my axis of revolution. Now, we need to cut this circle in half because I'm going to revolve this shape. So how do you do that? Well, you can do that using the trim command. So come up here to the top and click on trim. And what we want to do is select the portion of the curve that we wish to trim. And for this exercise, it does not matter if we select the left side or the right side. I suppose I'll go ahead and trim away the right side. And you can see that what's remaining is essentially our axis of revolution and this arc here representing the left side of the circle. That's all we need. So if I come to 3D model and hit on revolve, just as before, we see that we have our profile, which has sort of been pre-selected by the software. And again, I have to select my axis of revolution. And there it is. You can see that this looks correct. It's a ball with a, or sphere, solid sphere, with a one inch um, radius in this case, or maybe a diameter. Hit OK, and we can see that it is indeed a solid sphere. So again, reviewing what we accomplished in this exercise, the goal, of course, is to create sketches In Inventor, this is always the most important and key step, is to create your sketch, and here the one inch 
represents our diameter. We do have a closed sketch. For this example, we had to use the trim command to trim away the right side of the sphere. Alternatively, you could have used the arc command to draw just um, 180 degree arc representing half of this sphere. And that also would have been perfectly acceptable for this problem. So I hope you found this video to be interesting and instructive. Thank you so much for your time and attention today.